check this out, you guys. Fire and EMS services in the small community of North Haven now have some additional money to spend, and it's thanks to a first grader. News Center Maine's Chloe Tebow took a trip out to the island yesterday to meet six-year-old Argyle McDonald and learn more about how he's helped his town in a pretty major way. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Sharon. Good morning. Yeah, we first heard about this story when Argyle's great aunt reached out to the station, explaining Argyle had asked his mother if he could do a fundraiser. The reason to protect first responders on the island during the coronavirus pandemic. His sweet mission started with some flour and sugar. Anywhere on the water is where first grader Argyle McDonald from North Haven wants to be. About a month ago, though, he traded traps for treats for a pretty impressive cause. I made some whoopie pies, made some cookies, some pies. All of it part of a bake sale Argyle says he wanted to do to raise money for the fire department and EMTs on the island. $1,180 later, it paid off. So what was it like to raise that much money? It was crazy, actually. Argyle's mom, Laura, says she also was not expecting to raise that much. His dad and I were completely surprised. We thought it would be like, you know, $100 or a couple hundred dollars, and then it just went way above and beyond what we ever could dream of. A dream come true to help a team in need. I've been here for quite a while, almost 40 years, and this is the first time that a young guy like Argyle has donated this much money. Unlike the mainland, you know, we're, we're stuck here. So with the ambulance calls or the fire calls, which we rely on each other. Now, thanks to Argyle, the team has more money in its donation fund to get things like new equipment and PPE. As small volunteer departments, that support from someone so young means a lot. We even were like, Argyle, do you want to just keep a couple hundred dollars? And he didn't even think about it. Just absolutely no, no way I raised this money for you guys. That's the nature of a small but tightly knit town. We really look out for one another, which is really great in a small town. And do you want to do something like this again someday? Yeah, I think next year. Now that bake sale happened at the end of August, but Laura says they're still getting donations to give to fire and EMS as recently as Wednesday. She says people have mailed Argyle letters and given him donations on the street, expressing what a nice thing he's done for the town and community. And if you're interested in helping Argyle's cause, you can mail donations to his mom. We'll have that address on our website and mobile app a little later this morning. Live in studio, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine. All right, love, love, love that story and the ripple effect. I'm sure it's Argyle going to have. just made everybody's day a little bit better. a little brighter, and we needed that today.